mental. You've been wired to walk out a door and then to a place you didn't want to be. Here, you will burn and burn and burn eternally. The, the torment won't be spared for anyone. You, you think because God, you're young, don't he is you don't go to hell, is. but the truth you of the matter is, you will be eternal punishment just like the rest of us. For, for tomorrow, tomorrow is not promised. Hey, my name is Karen Gray. Hey, I'm Dear Grant. Karen's my best friend. Oh, uh, I remember when we first met. It was... It was Dia, sitting in the row in front of me. Yeah, I only know her name because every five seconds she was being told to sit down or be quiet. <laughs> I... I Karen had this, this really, really pretty doll, and it, it just caught my attention every time she walked in the room. So I made her an offer to trade my hair bow for her baby doll. I don't know why, but I traded her for my doll. But that's really how we became friends. We grew up together, in church. I was never the good girl. I mean, good girl is so boring. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, we want to live our lives to make tight memories. You know, getting straight A's, never taking a puff. I mean, that's taking the easy way out, right? I guess I took the easy way out. I get straight A's, do what I'm supposed to. You never find me doing anything like drinking or smoking. I mean, because I, I wasn't supposed to. I'm not allowed to. So. I mean, I know right from wrong. I know right from wrong. I mean, I got God, and I'm not getting caught anyway, so. So I guess I'll just do what I'm supposed to and fulfill my purpose that I was given by God, I guess. The torment will be physical. There will be no day of rest, for forever and ever, night and day, you will burn and burn. You will anguish in the flames, for there is no way out. This is the life you chose. The torment will be mental. You've been wired to walk out a door that led to a place you did not want to be. Here there is no way out. The torment will be spiritual. You deny God, don't believe he is for who he is. You will reap eternal punishment away from glory. You cannot say sorry now. The torment is for anyone. You think because you were young, you do not deserve this. But the truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter age. It doesn't matter what you look like. For tomorrow is not promised. For tomorrow is not promised. For tomorrow is not promised. I will live in paradise. Did you hear that? I just got back from Judgment Day. And God told me I did everything like he wanted me to. I lived out my purpose, and he is satisfied for what I have done. Because I did exactly as he told me to do. Well done. <laughs> God, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I prayed. I was on uh, Wednesday nights with Aunt Carmen and Mr. B, and I was listening. I, I was praying. I, I tithed. I was in the back of the church on Sunday. No, I didn't get up, but I was in the back, and I was listening. I raised my hands, but God, I'm worthy enough to go into your kingdom. I God, please don't forsake me. For I never knew you. It was your lukewarm activity that made me spew you. I was the girl that was faithful. I did what God wanted me to do. Yeah, it wasn't fun. It wasn't what was popular. But I mean, why wouldn't I do it? It's what's right. And I lived in a temporary world to live in an everlasting world with God. That's what I did. And look at where I am now, in a majestic heaven. I made that choice. I, I, you may be wondering what happened, and I'll tell you. I was a girl, 16 years young, car, crash, bones, break body, tossed into the windshield like an acrobatic ragdoll brain, playing ping pong with my skull, crushed artery, shoot blood around the car like vampires playing paintball lungs, committed suicide with the air, chest heaving in and out like a child overdosing on asthma attacks two seconds later. My body laid there, lived like an aborted fetus that was ripped from a temporary home, and after this poem, 
just like me. Everybody at the sound of my voice will die. If you were death, would you rather take the eight-year-old preacher on his deathbed singing to Jesus about growing up yonder or the 18-year-old boy at the club? Thinking that he's got his whole life to live right? Oblivious that he's five heartbeats away from, four breaths away from, three seconds away from, too late to keep a striped bullet from saying hello to his lungs. It looks like life just lost one. And death gets the glory he searches for every time someone utters the words, only the good die young because it's good for the young to die in his eyes. It's called shock value. So it's your choice.